spit comes back in his face. There is no spitting on the way we are on. Rain itself turns to spit on those who mock and casually show disrespect to saints. All this is his sermon to that terrible wife of the saints. It happens. Noah has such a son. And the saint Ishik has such a <laughs> wonderfully out of this world wife. A uh, similar story to Leo Toy Story. They sometimes have this kind of dual, opposite attract <laughs> in life. A saint is just somehow happened to be in the company of somebody who is not saintly at all. And remember, Maugalana has a mother like that, and uh, Sekamoni Buddha has a close cousin like that. He's opposite of them. So the sheikh has this terrible wife. It's no surprise to us. So he keeps telling her that the saint should be respected because this is the one who is one with God. He say it's just like the seed or the sowing, the growing, the harvest. They're all one. Yeah, they're all in the same category. Yeah? If you don't have the seed, you don't have the sowing, the harvesting, then you don't have the harvest either. So he says similar like that. The one who revealed the mystery and the revealed is one. I mean, the saint who shows God and that God is one. He was trying hard to tell the wife of this saintly sheik that her husband is a saintly one and is one with God. And she should respect him also because woe to whoever so disrespect to the saints. It will be like spitting on your own face. It will be harmful to yourself. So with that, he left the doorway and walked about asking in the town. Finally, someone said, The sheikh is in the forest collecting wood. So the young dervish ran toward the forest, but with a doubt in his mind. Why should such a sheikh have such a woman for a wife? Hmm, such an opposite, such a Neanderthal. <laughs> God forgive my judgment, who am I to judge? But the question remains. He has got forgiveness, but he still cannot forget the judgment about the Neanderthal woman. How could a teacher lie with this woman? Can a guide agree with a thief? Oh, he has a point. <laughs> Suddenly, Sheik Karakani appears, riding on a lion. <laughs> what a transportation. <laughs> Very green indeed. I'm sure he tamed the lion and he's vegetarian too, like the one in Yogananda's book. Suddenly, Sheik Karakani appears, riding a lion. Firewood stacked behind him. His whip, a live serpent. He used a serpent as a whip, but he probably doesn't whip the lion. Every sheik rides a fierce lion, whether you see it or not. He means there could be also an invisible lion. Means he has conquered the, the negative force, he has conquered the fierce nature. The sheik in the old time, it's a title bestowed upon somebody who is saintly, who is uh, enlightened. So, so he said here, Every sheik rides a fierce lion, whether you see it or not. Know this with your other eyes. Ah, your other eyes. He said, even if you don't see a sheik riding a lion, you should know that. You should see it with your spiritual eye. There are thousands of lions under your teacher's thighs, and all of them stack with wood. He realized some truth about that saintly person. <laughs> mean he has as he command anything he wants. Karakani knew the problem and immediately began to answer. Well, it is not out of desire that I put up with her. 
<laughs> he didn't ask anything. But the sheikh already knows what is in his heart, so he say immediately, Well, it's not out of desire that I put up with her. Don't think that. It's not her perfume or her bright colored clothes. And during her public disdain has made me strong and patient. Wow. I told you, people scold you, they're good for you. They cut in some of your ego if you feel humiliated by someone. Just thank God for that. Some people cannot bear it, I know that, even from a teacher or from parents. Look at Noah's son. He could not bear that because the ego is too strong and the negative power is too much in him. So we should not learn to be like that. Truly, one day, maybe when you get older, think of all the upheavals in your life, all the retribution that uh, has been thrown on your path, you will feel, oh, how lucky I have been to be trained with the merciful hand of heaven so that I have become humble, uh, become nothing. Because in becoming nothing, you becoming great. You become your true self. You're no pretentious, nothing to lose anymore. You're completely free, free of clinging to false pride and uh, 